Now it's time for the Mystery Reader. Here is your host, Darth Vader. <laughs> Wesley, I am your father. I am here to talk about my favorite book. Do you know what it is? Well, it is the Jedi Academy. So listen and find out why it's so great. Well, Rowan, how does it feel to be done with primary school? Great. I can't wait for Pilot Academy. Your father sent a hollow message from Alderaan. Congratulations, Rowan. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Rowan. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Rowan. I'm proud of you. I think it's stuck. I can't wait. David said his first year at Pilot Academy was awesome. Well, until then, you still need to get your chores done in the garden. Oh man, garden work is lame. At least I won't have to go to Tatooine Agriculture Academy. I can't wait to fly in space. Mom, is there any work in the garden you need me to do? Oh yes, you can plant the hakak beads. Yeah. Thanks, Roan. It's nice that you want to help without even having to be asked. I thought I'd better get more practice farming or I'll fail at plant school, too. There! Maybe I can do well in plant school after all. Doomed. <gasps> oh no! What have you to show, Rowan? This is a complete replica of the Mustafar volcanic system, Master Yoda. Huh? Maybe a little more? Hmm, much like a real volcano, this was. Hmm. Uh, how is Kitman going to teach swimming? I thought Wookiees didn't like to get wet. <laughs> nice swimsuit, Rowan. Can't let Krona bother me. <laughs> uh, well, thanks! I was being sarcastic. Ah, uh, wow. That actually worked. Well, that's one way to get us all into the water. Another book that I like is the Big Nate series. In this one, I'm going to read a section. 
that talks about another famous warrior like myself, the Greek warrior Achilles. This is a section from Big Nate Goes for Broke. In the book, in ancient Greece, the goddess Thetis fell in love with a mortal named Peleus. They had a son and named him Achilles. When Achilles was a baby, Thetis decided that she wanted Achilles to be immortal like she was, so she carried him to the river Styx. Everything that touched the river's magical waters became indestructible. Thetis had Achilles by the heel and dipped him in the river, not realizing that his heel never touched the water. During the Battle of Troy, thousands and thousands of Trojan arrows struck Achilles, but they had no effect. Then, bum, 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 one arrow hit him in the heel, the only part of his body left untouched by the protective waters of the river Styx. At this time, I'm going to pass it back to a teacher in Broken Arrow who teaches at Centennial Middle School, Justin Ennis, who's going to talk a little bit about Achilles. Achilles' heel. Let's take a look at this mythological event and how it is used in our language today. Well, the meaning is it's a person's weak spot. So who was Achilles? Well, he was this hero of the, of the Trojan War. He was a famous Greek fighter in the military. And his mother was a sea goddess. And it was prophesied that Achilles was going to die young. So his mother became very protective. Well, she found out that she had this one-time opportunity to dip him in the river Styx, which would render him invincible. However, as she was dipping old Achilles uh, by the heel, she realized that he had a vulnerable area. And as the prophecy foretold, he would later die as prophesied by an arrow to the heel during the Battle of Troy. So when we say that's his or her Achilles heel, that's somebody's weak spot. So, kids, I want you to get a book. Get a book today. You heard it from me, Darth Vader. Well, I must leave now. I must go back and fight Obi-Wan Kenobi on the Death Star.